I'm so sorry about this. We need to start acting like it. Oh, how, how, how's your family doing? Oh, he's getting worse. No, praise the Lord. God's working on him. <laughs> Did you see? You got to start acting. You got to start preparing. As if you where you will find great deals on award-winning SUVs that are sure to make you smile. Arrows to hunt deer, leaving many of them oh. alive with arrows piercing their bodies. State troopers say the deer are able to feed and walk around. They're also trying to tranquilize the animals and remove the arrows, but they've had trouble locating them. That's so disturbing, even to say. Oh, my God. Oregon Fish and Wildlife agents are say that they're investigating to track down the hunters responsible but hear this, there is a reward offered for any information leading to the arrest. We'll see how kind of progress they make. So are they saying they're just a bad shot? It or... seems that's the case there. I mean, you look where that, where that is. That's just... Wow. I'm, I'm not sure how you walk around with that either no. way. No, it looks okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Back here in the Valley, or actually in Tennessee, we're talking about the deadly Waffle House shooting in that uh, state. Those affected actually gathered at the restaurant in Antioch. Father, we thank you for your forgiveness, for your peace, and your comfort. In the Son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. This is what they did when they got together. They all prayed. They said they wanted to show that they are strong following the violence. Family members of the four people killed, along with those injured, and others who were inside the restaurant during the shooting, joined together at 325 this afternoon. The exact time, or actually this morning, the exact time the shooting took place. It's one week ago today.